Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and here we are. Welcome to Mix It Up Monday and this Monday I'm going to make one of my favorite things. This is actually kind of a, it's a coating for chicken or fish and if you remember Shake and Bake, it's kind of like a Shake and Bake. And I always love that commercial where the dad comes home and he sits down and he's eating the chicken, it's so good. And he says, what is this? And the little girl in her southern accent says, it's Shake and Bake and I helped. I used to love that commercial. But I love this stuff for coating my chicken, particularly when I, I will make the recipe for you using this, but I like to do like a chicken uh, breast and I cut it in half and kind of, um, you know, flatten it out and make like a chicken cutlet. It's so good. But what this calls for is super simple and this is going to be in the PDF in the description that you can print out. So it's the shake and bake mix for chicken and fish. It's four cups of flour four cups of finely crushed saltine crackers and I've already put them in here. This is about two and a half sleeves of, you know, from the saltine cracker box. I'll show you. From this box, it's about two and a half sleeves of, um, about two and a half of these. And all I did was I put them in my zip top bag and then I use a rolling pin and just flatten them because I want them a little bit crisp, crunchy but not completely like a powder so I don't want to run them through um, say a food processor because I want them to have that little bit of crunch on them because that's what's going to brown and then four tablespoons of sea salt I'll put that in and then two tablespoons of sugar and then here we have two teaspoons of garlic powder and two teaspoons of onion powder. And then three tablespoons of paprika. And this is a two tablespoon measure and this is a one tablespoon measure. So what I want to do first, because it also has a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil. But first what I want to do is get all the dry ingredients really well incorporated. So I'm going to put these crackers, the four cups of ground, of uh, saltine cracker in there and I did put only three uh, tablespoons of salt instead of four because the salt there is saltine uh, cracker salt on the crackers so let me get this really well incorporated and then I'm just going to drizzle the oil over it and keep mixing it and then this is just going to go in a jar I'm going to vacuum seal the top and I'm going to pull this out whenever I want to do my uh, my chicken Okay, I think I've got that mixed well. I'm going to use my spoon to go around the edges in the corner of the pot down there. If I had a round bottom mixing bowl thing, I wouldn't have to worry about that, but I don't. Okay, now I'm just going to lightly kind of drizzle the oil in there. I'm going to do a little bit at a time. And that's just going to help it brown when you're cooking it in the oven or whatever. So basically you're going to use this the same way as you would any kind of a coating for chicken or fish, but it makes it really good, really crispy, it's nice. So I would put maybe a half a cup or just enough needed for the chicken that you're cooking and then I would dredge it in a beaten egg or maybe some milk or buttermilk or even just water. Okay, I think that's... Got that done, see there. Now I could add a little pepper. You could add other things. This is just the base, but when you go to cook this, say you're gonna do fish, you could add a little dill in there, or you could do, you know, whatever you want. This is just the base. Okay, that's mixed well. And now I'm gonna put it in my jar. There we go. Smells yummy. I changed to this uh, funnel from my other one because it slides, the things slide, they don't get caught on the little edges because that one would change sizes and it kind of has ridges around the inside of it. So this will catch it, sorry. This is going to be handy, handy to have on hand. Okay. And I would shake it up real well before I used it. There we go. Okay. Let me put the rest. 
rest in here. And now I'm going to put the lid on there and I'm going to vacuum seal that. And what I did here was I did take a photocopy of the actual printout and then I just cut the title off and then I put the to use information there. So as soon as I grab this, I know to put it at 400 degrees and it'll take about 20, 45 minutes for bone in and 20 minutes for a chicken or fish, boneless chicken or fish. And do not cover, I always remember, and don't turn it. Um, also, so that's information that's on there and I like to do that. So there you have it your DIY Shake and bake for chicken or fish So I hope you guys give this a try if you make something or you come up with a recipe using it I'd love to know about it and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video